Thanks for clicking play, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be fitting my Dometic PW1500 awning, which is going to be exciting. This method also works for the Fiyama F45s and a few of the other Fiyamas. It also works for the Thule ones, because we're going to be using the flat mounted brackets or wall mounted brackets. I picked up a set of these off eBay for about £35, so I will show you the brackets and show you how they go on right now. Okay, so here we go. These are the brackets. So, two wide ones and one skinny one. That's going to be for the middle. And basically, you can see they are straight. They're going to go straight on, and those little hooks go into the rack, and then you drill a hole from the bottom. Okay, so you can see we've got the Fiamma here, but I've also got a Dometic down there. So let's change that over. And you've got this back area here. And basically this just slots into there like that. And supports it like so. Now there's space there for two little bolts and the bolt heads will go into this tiny little recess here. So we attach those to the side and then it just hooks on like that. Obviously the same is going to be for the Dometic down there. So my camper conversion is a Ford Mark 7 Transit minibus and it's the mid-roof version which means you can't actually bolt these directly onto the side of the van. That's because the there's no space at the top. So if you're using this method you've really got to have a high roof or if your van sliding door does have space above it you can use this method as well. I have fitted a roof rack to mine and I measured it out quite carefully and I can actually mount these brackets to the side of my roof rack. I could potentially mount them to the top section of the roof rack but that's only held on by one bolt underneath and I felt that it's got, you know, it could potentially lean and snap that bolt so I'm doing it directly to the feet because that's going to be the most secure section. If you are looking to mount an awning on a mid-roof like this one where there isn't enough space to fit a flat bracket, you can get an angled one. It sits in the gutter, a plate goes straight up, but the back of it arches over so you can bolt it to the top of the van as well. So they're available on eBay and places like that too.
So I was waiting for a part for the Dometic awning to arrive before I fitted it. Part arrived, fitted it last night. I was really eager to get it on, but the weather is terrible. So um, I just manhandled it on by myself, uh, completely forgot to film it. So it's actually hooked onto the railings. I will show you those now. This first one isn't sat correctly as it's supposed to be perfectly flush. This is because all the brackets need to be perfectly flat going along the length of the awning. So I adjusted the roof rack to make sure they were all sitting perfectly. As you saw at the start of the video, all these brackets have holes underneath. And all we need to do here is drill a hole in the awning and connect the feet directly to the awning. Damn, it's freezing outside, so. This is the bolt it wants to connect to the two, and it's just a bit too small, so I found this one, which is the same thickness, and I'm just going to trim this one down. So there we go, the awning is on the side of the van. Well, technically it's not on the side of the van, it's on the side of the roof rack, but yeah, it still works. It's been there for about six months actually by the time I'm finishing this video, so it's been perfect. Nothing's gone wrong. So hopefully this video was helpful. To recap, those plates are about 36 quid, so it's quite cheap compared to the 150 pound rails that I was looking at originally. This method works for the Dometic awning, the Fiamma awnings, and the Thule awning, because actually ended up with all three of those by accident. Um, yeah, it just hooks underneath and it supports its own weight, and then the screws at the bottom just attach it. It's dead, dead simple. But when I first started researching it, I couldn't find anything that kind of explains that. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, Oh, one other thing. The reason I ended up with three awnings is because I won a bid on eBay for three spares and repairs awnings, and I spent about 50 quid fixing them, and then I sold two of them for 500 quid. So I ended up with some, some money, a free awning, and yeah, that means that... Yeah, I was, I was quids in, which is awesome. So yeah, as usual, any tips, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and then we're gonna to go to the prices, which is gonna be weird this week because I've actually made money. So yeah, here we go.